Rights of Children with Disabilities Related to Education or Pode Aju Workshop Blushe Protocol Home Pra Organized Krigina. It is a workshop to state commissioner for person with disabilities, Nagaland Pra Support Krigina, Tourist Lodge Dima Pode Lushe. Workshop program de Tetono Nakro State Commissioner for Persons with Disabilities Pra, he note address Tishi Aro Nilaya Pa, B, Deputy Director, Department of School Education Pra, Inclusive Education in Nagaland Pode, Kota Krishi. Children with disabilities. Uh, are one of the most, you know, most marginalized and excluded groups. Uh, although there is a very, uh, you know, a severe lack of data, uh, not only, uh, you know, in Nagaland, but everywhere, there's a severe lack of data. Available evidence from a few countries shows that, without exception, children with disabilities are more likely to be excluded from school than their peers without disabilities. In fact, many schools here in our state also, not many, a few schools, there are a few inclusive schools here in the state, and some of these inclusive schools are also not actually practicing proper inclusive education. You know, they, of course, admit uh, children with disabilities, but when it comes to the classrooms again, they put the uh, children with disabilities separately again. You know, that is the practice that happens also in certain cases. Right now, our school education system is still not inclusive. Now we have the Samagra program on the site, which we all know about. And Samagra is very important, but that is not our actual education system, you know. So uh, now education, when we talk about IE, education, uh, inclusive education, any time we approach the school education department with regard to inclusive education, oh, go to Samagra, like as if inclusive education is a small, you know, segregated pro uh, program under program under Samagra. So this is this cannot go on. You know, our school education system, entire education system, we have to make it inclusive. We have to include our children with disabilities. You know, they have to be able to walk in into any school, get accepted, into, get admitted into any school. Trained teachers should be there, trained resource persons should be there to provide the, you know, to give, to, to attend to the needs of children with disabilities of any, any category of disability. That should be the aim, that should be the policy of our state, that should be our education system. And so now what we need to start talking about is what are the things we need to do to make sure that whether it's private schools, whether it's government schools, that this becomes a reality. What do we do about training our teachers? What do we do about providing you know, the facilities that are needed in our school buildings, in our school uh, you know, campuses? So this is the talk that we need to start having now. We need to come to coordinate. You know, the disability sector, the education sector, we need to coordinate and make sure that all these are done. You know, it has to, we have to start doing it, you know. Access to information is something is very, very, very important. Whether it is in the uh, education uh, sector, whether it is in health or whatever, uh, wherever, sec wherever the section may be, we have to give uh, wide publicity of the information. We need to circulate uh, information to the public so that it reaches from the top to the bottom level in the community at the same time in the department. So these uh, disseminations of information is very, very important. And then this is something uh, our, our department is also failing from their parts, as we see. Admission is one very, very important thing to start a, to start a formal education in this school. So this, when, when we talk about the admission, there has been a numerous, numerous uncountable uh, denial of admissions in the schools. So there has been a uncountable denial cases in many schools. This is just because the school is not accessible. The school doesn't have accessible uh, buildings. The school doesn't have an accessible campus. The school doesn't have a special educators. Admission denials should not happen. And also uh, another point is lack of special educators. See, uh, there is a denial of admission because of lack of special educators. And then this lack of special educators is also one of one problems. In, in Nagaland's uh, 
the data shows that we have only 46 special educators under the Department of uh, Education. So this is this 46 special ed educator is running the whole of the government schools in Nagaland. So this is something very, very, very tough for the people, for the special, the available uh, special educators. In fact, um, just I have mentioned myself about, um, I am being a special educator under the department. In my blog, I am the only special educators who have to look after 37 schools. Imagine, if those 37 schools, every school have children with disability, if every schools have admitted children with disability, one special educator is going to take care of all those 37 schools. That is something beyond our imagination. It is impossible to take care of all those things. So this is very important. One thing is that availability of the special educators in the school is very, very important. I have come here to learn. I have noted uh, the points which the differences raised here. I will make in the form of a report and submit it to my principal director and to the report, uh, sorry, the department, and will try my best to push forward this one. And I will be always available, ma'am has my number, so I will be always available to extend any kind of support to you in this cause. And honestly saying, we have more challenges than your issues. I have noted on your issues, but when we put into practice, there will be more challenges, but together we can solve it. As you said, the concept of inclusive education is not known to many school heads, forget about the teachers. Many school heads are not clear about the concept of inclusive education. That is why the situation, as you someone raised, that denial of admissions. It's not that they don't want to admit you, they are not aware. So, uh, I'm thinking that the priority of the department now should be to make all the school heads aware of the rights of the children with disabilities. So, something we must do immediately so that all the school heads are aware of the rights. So when if the issues of admissions and these things comes, at least someone will be there in the school to support you. So that will be our priority. I convey the full support of the principal director and the Department of School Education to all of you to address the issues. We acknowledge that there are issues. We acknowledge there are lapses and we pledge our full support to all of you in whichever way we can do it. So thank you so much for giving me the opportunity and during the interactive session I will be looking forward to learn more from you so that we can help you. Thank you once again.